linear equations, example one, part C and D now. Um, so if we look at question C, this one is probably harder than, than most people think. A lot of people do the wrong thing. In fact, I'll, I'll show you what the wrong thing is right now. A lot of people look at this, and what makes it difficult is the, the, the part that has the pronumerals is on the right side, and it's usually on the left. But a lot of people look at this and go, all right, 15 minus 3D, this is, means to minus 15, and they try and add 15 to both sides. And this doesn't work, and I'll, I'll show you why. Um, I just rubbed that mistake out. It's actually not minus 15 because that negative belongs to the 3, or the minus belongs to the 3. This is technically positive 15 because you always look to the left of a number to see whether it's a positive or a negative number. So to get rid of the 15, you actually need to subtract on both sides. And that is how it will cancel. All right. Now what will happen is you will be left with negative 3D. So that subtraction there just becomes a negative to the 3. And 12 minus 15 is negative 3. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is this actually has like a hidden multiplication. So we learned the next step is to do the opposite of that, which is to divide. What we're going to do is we're going to divide by negative 3. And what this will do is it will not just get rid of the 3, but it will get rid of the negative as well, which is what we want. We just want D on its own. And if you do negative 3 divide negative 3, you will actually get 1. So D equals 1. All right, quite a tricky one there. Let's move on to question D now. We're getting ones with negatives in it, but just if you struggle with negatives, you can always use your calculator. All right, now this one's a bit weird because this time we've got the prime numeral on the right side of the equal sign. This is really easy to fix because you can just swap. You can just swap them around at any time. So you can just swap sides on the equal sign. All right, we've swapped sides. Uh, in fact, we need to we need some room here. Oops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this working out and put it over here, so I get a bit of room. Oh, that was magic. Didn't know I could do that. Uh, I really don't want that. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now, we have some multiplication, we have some division, and we have some addition. So we should always do addition before multiplication and division. And we're going to do the opposite. We're going to minus 2 on both sides, which cancels, cancels the positive 2. All right. So we have negative 3c over 2 equals negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. All right. Now, on this one, we have a couple of things happening here. We've got negative 3 times c, and we've got to divide 2. Multiplication and division are actually equal to each other, meaning you can do them in any order. The same also applies for addition and subtraction. Neither of these gets priority over the other. So, do we do multiplication and division first? I reckon we'll do, we'll focus on the two first. So this says divide two. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to times two over on both sides. So we want to times two. And that leaves us with negative three C equals negative 12. All right, last step. This is negative 3 times C. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to divide by negative 3. Both terms cancelling out the negative 3. Gives us C equals negative 12 divided by negative 3 is 4.